Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Janelle aka Nelly. So excuse the eye makeup, I'm still figuring out what I'm supposed to do. But today I'm trying a new to me, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, uh, Bemi Abula on YouTube. She said that the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation works really well with the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. So I decided to buy the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, but I wanted to try it by itself and see how I like it so but the thing is with me <laughs> you don't know Nyx and I do not have the best relationship for complexion products like I didn't like their concealers at all I tried the HD concealer I hated it I tried a total drop control foundation didn't really care for it I tried the can't stop won't stop concealer didn't care for that either so <laughs> I don't really know how to feel about it so I got in the shade Coco and uh, so shout out to Bemi Bula for convincing me to buy it and Ulta Beauty for having 20% off coupon. Next Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation comes in 45 shades I believe and Alyssa actually actually collab with NYX to make this foundation line shade range which is like the main reason that I bought it. I wanted to buy it before but I just ended up not buying it. So now I'm just going to prime my face like how I normally prime using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer on my T-Zone. I'm going to dab her in. I like I'm doing a full makeup look when I have like a meeting tonight. I have a 69 class. I don't know why I did this to myself. I'm putting the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. So I was playing on that primer to tell you a couple things I heard. I heard this foundation can be a little bit drying. I have oily combination skin. And lately, I have been way more into more luminous, like natural skin finish foundations. So for this, I'm mainly looking for like in the summer, like if I really, really want like a matte foundation, like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, I could probably wear this um, or the Fenty Beauty like Pro Matte Foundation, that type of thing. And I heard like a little bit goes a long way. Actually, a lot of people love it. I never really heard anything bad about this foundation. It's just that I really have the best relationship. So I am going to do half my face with a brush and half my face with a sponge. And I'm going to put one pump on each side. Um, I do enjoy this packaging. This packaging is like really simple. Really simple, but cute. I asked Bemi what her shade was. And she sold me this. And usually, okay, hopefully this matches me, okay. Usually, we're around the same shade. And so the shade for Maybelline is like way too red. So if this doesn't pull up red on me, that will be great. So let's see how this goes. So I know my background looks crazy and it's because today has been a rough day. I have four classes and they're all today because one was like a lecture class. So, yeah. This is what the coverage looks like so far. It's not too bad. It's not turning up red or orange. Shade matching isn't too shabby. Um, with the brush. I didn't use a whole pump. I use like small pumps because I never I never personally use a whole pump of foundation. The only one that I use like a whole pump of foundation is the NARS Naturally Radiant because it doesn't really give you much. So that's that's just my type of thing. Um, I'm using my Beauty Bakery egg. So on my eyes right now, if you're wondering, I'm wearing the Jackie Ina palette. I wanted to play with Wigglies. And so I mixed Wigglies and Shookington on my eyes because I also wanted to use the Alyssa Ashley method when she uses her shimmers with the MAC Mixing Medium. Because I recently bought it because they had it for like 25% off this weekend for Labor Day. So I was like, okay, 25% off and I get free shipping. Yes, I'll do it. Like, I would definitely, yeah, do it. So. Now we can do the other side of my face. If you don't follow me on Twitter, people in my 10 a.m. class do not know how to close their nose when they sneeze and all that. So they got me sick. I don't. Yeah. I actually don't care <laughs> either or. Actually, it does look a little bit better on camera with the brush, but with a sponge, I'm also not really mad. Huh. Okay. The shade isn't that bad. I feel like I'm gonna put like a little bit more on both sides and see how that goes. Um, probably have to bring it down my neck so I don't really scare the freshmen <laughs> in my meeting later on tonight. It doesn't feel matte. 
And let me see what it smells like, if I can smell. I can't really smell anything, because I'm still low-key sick. A little bit darker, so I'm going to, I don't like putting foundation down my neck. I also don't want people clocking me, so I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation down my neck also. This foundation kind of has like a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it's not like thick, thick. You don't really feel her that much, but she's okay. She's okay. So we're gonna do one whole pump. Okay, so they give you a really generous pump that I low-key feel like was a little bit too much. So, so neck, face is a little bit more adjusted. Uh, you don't want to see in the back of my hand, but the back of my hand is like a little bit larger than my face, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup routine. Fast forward it through with my normal stuff that I use so I can see how it works. So what I can say so far is that this foundation seems to dry down pretty good. It did not budge when I did my cream contour. The shade isn't too bad, so shout out to Bemmy Blue for that. So far, so good. My skin doesn't feel like it's getting dried out because even though I do have oily skin, I do know sometimes my skin does get dried out, which is why I've been more into luminous foundations lately. Um, So, so far, so good. I don't know if I need to set this foundation. I naturally always set my foundations, but I'm not sure about this one because this one's like hella matte. But then again, so is Estee Lauder and I set that one too, so who am I to judge? You know what I mean? Y'all, if y'all a chocolate girl, use this shade of highlighter. Like, oh my gosh, this highlighter is at work. Okay, so this is the final look. I feel like when I put lashes with my current hairstyle, because I never did a middle part before, that looked like um, that white girl, Vicky, little Vicky, that person. Hopefully, I can find a meme of her. But um, <laughs> yeah, and like usually when I uh, usually when I do like a crazy bold makeup look and I'm going to class, I feel a little subconscious because I'm just like, yo, we're here for education. Here I am all glammed out for no fucking reason. Lashes, as I said before, 
I'm using Lashes by Ashmel in the shade. I woke up like this. I saw my face look good like five minutes ago. So it's like, it's 502, which means I will be, I'll be back like around 12, 12-ish. Yeah, like around 12 and see how it goes. And she did not budge, she did not move. She doesn't look too shabby. The shade is pretty good. I have been breaking out lately. I don't know why. It's, I've been breaking out since I got here. Texture of my skin, it doesn't emphasize the texture of my skin. Um, it looks pretty good. Let me grab my five times. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty good. It, yeah, it doesn't emphasize my texture. It doesn't make it look crazy. So, so far, so good. The finish is nice. It ain't matte. It ain't like matte. It's not like matte matte, but it has like the formula of a matte finish foundation, but it doesn't bother my nose because since I'm blowing my nose a lot, it's not really um, flaking up. So yeah, I'll be back in like around 12 o'clock at night and we'll see how it goes. And I'm just going to take a couple photos for you guys and yeah, there you go. That's about it. Okay, so like quick update. It's only been like, what's it? 15 minutes and the lines are kind of forming over here and the cracking on my forehead is not too too bad so far it looks pretty good i just i want to point it out like within 15 minutes this happened maybe if i apply more concealer in these areas it would not have done that but i didn't so yeah so i don't know if my phone's quicker or not but I'm tired. It is now, what time is it? Let me remove these notifications for you first. It is now 10, 21 p.m. So far, I don't know how to feel about this foundation. So let me, let me, let me explain. Okay, so first of all, I had to blot my face within two hours, two and a half hours of wearing it. Because I was in my six to nine class and I had to go to the bathroom. I went to look at myself in the mirror. You know, I see a little shininess going on over here and here and i'm like bruh maybe i should use a different powder with this foundation and i feel like in person the texture looks off like on camera it still looks a little off like it looks kind of dry underneath here it looks like it's disintegrating over here so far i'm not enjoying it but i'm just gonna try it with um, a different powder tomorrow if i wake up on time because i got work tomorrow too i just don't know i need to let my hair down i just don't know i just i just genuinely don't no, um, due to the fact that I am exhausted. <laughs> um, I wore this for about like five hours straight. I blotted my, my I blotted my face twice. I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures of it right now. One was me just doing like ten minutes ago, and then another one in like with flash camera. And I just feel like you know it could be better. I see why people like it. But for me personally, it just emphasizes texture. I sound like a blonde bitch, yo. It emphasizes texture. My smile lines were obvious. Like you could see the deep creases underneath my eye, like where it ends, honestly. I'm gonna do like a quick review of me putting it on tomorrow. Change my under eye powder and see how it goes. Because as you can see, they're like low key, high key, disintegrate like right here, here. Here, here, and like I had that powder, I had that beauty bakery powder almost two years now. But my Laura Mercier powder, I had that for a good minute, and it it did not, it did not, <laughs> it did not do that. So if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna do a whole separate video. Right now, out of five stars, I'll give it a three and a half. Like it has an appeal, like the match is perfect. The for the finish wasn't that bad. But over time, I feel like it's really texture. It looks like a lot of texture on me right now. And I look hard. I look older. I'm only 22 years old. So, like, I don't need to look like a 30-year-old woman who had, like, a really rough day. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to, like, do a fast-forward of me putting it on tomorrow. So right, now, right now, it's not looking too good.
So it is now, what time is it? It is now 5.55 p.m. Six, yeah, good six hours of wear so far. It so far looks a lot better than yesterday. I have not blotted my face. All I've really done is blow my nose and um, it's not too bad emphasizing a little bit of my texture. Still don't feel like it's important for me to blot yet. I do have one more thing to do today, so I'll probably do that. I'll probably blot my face before then, but I'm just gonna tell you guys my overall thoughts about the foundation. Okay, so it was the powder yesterday that messed up my under eyes. But today, my under eyes aren't really doing the disintegrating thing, but ever they do look a little bit low-key dry, and I use a more hydrating I use hydrating concealers. I don't really use matte concealers, honestly. This is like a really radiant foundation. And so I think this foundation is pretty good on its own. It looks pretty nice. Um, I think I broke out today because it did not look like this before I put on my makeup. So I probably broke out today, but it's okay. I will rate this foundation out of five or four. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It says it's transfer proof. Um, it transferred a bit on my hand. I would mix this foundation in with my more radiant foundations like my Anastasia or my NARS or my Too Faced, stuff like that. So it could be a little bit more long wearing and I don't have to worry for it as much when it comes to oils. For those reasons, I think it's good for like a mixing in foundation because right now I like a good balance of not like dewy skin, but also not like matte. I want to look like my skin. So this one looks not too bad after wearing for like six hours. I am going to wear this for a long time. A little video over here of me doing my little like check in after work. And so, yeah. Um, so yeah, I probably have to throw in my beauty bakery powder. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty good foundation. It's pretty decent. If you want like a matte foundation, this is the one for you. I'm just more of a natural based finish type of girl. So yeah, there you go. Sorry for my energy towards the end of this video. It's just that I'm like low key tired. And so I'm ready to go to bed. And so that is why. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a nice and lovely day wherever you are and peace out on these streets. <laughs>